those kinds of projects as you start to build out a better overall set of IT capabilities, those are the kinds of things I would imagine could actually benefit from mobility and play a bit important role in sort of bedside and distributed medicine. Absolutely. You know, mobility uh, is really where I think not just society is going, but healthcare is as well. If you look at what we're doing today, the typical physician or clinician sits down at a PC, and that PC could be the nurse's station, PC could be on a cart outside in the hallway, outside of a patient's room, but they're sitting down at that PC and they're typing in information, they're getting information from that PC, and that really doesn't allow them to engage the patient well as they're, as they're looking at information. Now, if you look, I think, towards where we're going with tablets and with smartphones, those are really transformative devices, and we're going to really, I think, heavily rely on those devices to deliver information to the same physician and clinician in the near future. And what's neat is, is that those things are going to be carried along by the physician or clinician as they, as they, you know, go throughout their shift, throughout their day, and it's going to deliver very, what I, what I would envision as being very context specific information. And, and what I mean by that is depending on who's holding that device, um, as well as where that person is standing, and potentially what patient they're standing in front of, it's going to deliver different information. Now, that's incredibly powerful. But I look at it as there's a lot of background technology also that has to, to, to assist to make sure that that context occurs. Identity management is one of the key components to it. Identity management helps glue all those relationships together in a way that allows um, that information, the right information, to get in front of the clinician at the right time and with the right patient. Hugely important. Oh,